Hello, boys and girls. I have a math lesson today. We are going to review several parts um, of our math standard, several different things that we have learned um, prior to this point in the year. Um, we have true, false, uh, greater than, less than, equal to, tens and ones, number bonds, uh, before and after, odd and even, and the associate property with a word problem. Okay, so let's get started. You will need a pencil and paper for this activity because I do want you to um, follow along and write anything you can write um, right now while I'm working the problems. I want you to work them with me so we can work them together. If you do not have a pencil and paper, I want you to run and grab one really fast and uh, come back and let's get started on our math. Okay. Okay. Today we are going to start with true and false. And so if you have your pencil and paper ready, what I need you to do is I need you to write 9 plus 3 equals 2 plus 10 on your paper. And we are going to determine if that equation um, is true or false. True meaning equal, false meaning not equal. And so the very first thing you should do, the very first step you should do is you should determine um, the amount on both sides of the equal sign. So let's start with nine plus three, okay? So let's think about nine plus three. You put the bigger number in your head, nine, and you count up three more, 10, 11, 12. So we should know that nine plus three is 12. And so you should write the number 12 on your paper. The next equation on the other side of the equal sign is 2 plus 10. Again, if you um, are not automatic with your math facts yet, then you need to put 10 in your head and count up two more, 10, 11, 12. Um, if you are not automatic with your math facts, that is something super easy that you can practice while you're at home. Definitely need... Um, to practice automatic um, math fact memorization, use flashcards, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, we, we will definitely pick those tests back up when you come back. So um, dominoes, you can add the dots on a domino. Um, you can roll two dice and add those together. You can use flashcards, but definitely, if you don't automatically know your math facts, definitely work on those. So two plus 10 is 12. So what do we notice about both sides of the equal sign? Well, we should notice that they are the same because nine plus three is 12 and two plus 10 is 12. So what would we say about this equation? We would say that it is true. And boys and girls, I hope you remember that the word true means the same as, okay? Let's go on to our greater than, less than, or equal to. So the first uh, number here is 22. The second number is 23. So go ahead and write that down and let's decide what we should do next. I'm not getting it together this morning. Okay, 22 and 23. Hmm, I see numbers that are very similar because both of these numbers have a two in the tens place. So I see 22, this is a two in the tens place and it means 20 and this is 23. So what should I do? Well, I have to look at the ones place. If the digit in the tens place is the same in both numbers, then you have to move over to the ones place. So 22 is less than 23 and you always read the number on the left first. Okay, 14 and 19. Again, the number in the tens place is the same. Um, both of these have a one, a digit, a one digit in the tens place. What, what should I do? Well, I have to go to the ones place. We have a 14 and a 19, we have a four and a nine. So again, we're gonna say less than. Um, 14 is less than 19. We're looking at the value of the ones place. A four is less than a nine, okay? The next one is 75 and 68. Well, that one is pretty easy. We can look at the tens place and we know that seven is greater than six 
this is a number in the 70s, this is a number in the 60s, so we would say 75 is greater than 68. And always start with your number on the left and read left to right. Okay, the next uh, spot here is a number bond and we have a missing number. Now, if you're automatic with your math facts, that's fabulous and, and really um, that's something that's going to help you out a lot in math if you have memorized your math facts. So we talk a lot in first grade about partners and um, numbers are partners and they add up to a whole. So again, in our number bond, we have part, part, whole. Um, obviously, I gave you the number four as one of our parts and I did not give you the other number. Um, so, and there's two different ways you can solve this. You can add, um, you can add four plus eight equals 12, or you could subtract and you could say 12 minus four equals eight. And just a second ago, I said, if you automatically know your math facts, if you automatically know your partners, if you know eight and four make a 12, then you could fill that in if you have already memorized your partners, okay? So if you don't have that, and um, we have four and eight are um, partners of 12, four and eight are our parts, 12 is our whole, and then you can write two equations, an addition, four plus eight is 12, or a subtraction, 12 minus four is eight. So I hope you were able to write that down. Okay, the next um, box we have here has a illustration, and we also have an equation here. Let's look at the illustration. And these are um, 10 rods and they illustrate um, two tens. And so you would count them as a 10. You would say 10, 20, because the value is a 10. These are ones or units and the value is just a one. So when you count them, you just say one. So let's start here. Remember, you always start at the left and you would count that first. So you would say 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. So we have two tens and three ones. If we have two tens and three ones, the total number represented here is the number 23. You can also represent the number 23 in an equation. 20 plus three equals 23. So there's different ways to represent numbers. One way is the illustration. Uh, the other way is the equation. Um, we call that expanded form or just the, just the numerical form, um, 23. Another way would be um, word form to, to write the word, to spell the word. Okay, let's move on to the number 29. And the question I have asked you in this box, is the number 29 odd or even? And so what you would do is you would look at the ones place, you would look at the ones digit to decide if it was odd or even. Um, in this case, it is a nine. And we know that the numbers one, three, five, seven, and nine are odd. So the number in the ones place determines that this number is odd. So you can write that on your paper. And I'm gonna write that up here, one, three, five, seven, and nine are all odd. Now, the reason they are odd, and we talk about this a lot in class, is because um, the number nine is not a double, okay? So one plus one equals two, that's a double. Two plus two is four, that's a double. Three plus three is six, that's a double. Four plus four is eight. Uh, five plus five is 10. Nine is not a double, okay? Um, I was talking about partners a minute ago. If you took nine and made partners, you would have four and five. That's not a double. Uh, you would have six and three, um, one and eight. Those are not doubles. So the number is odd. And the next thing in our box here on our paper today is before and after. So I want you to think about this number represented here, and that is the number 59. And I want you to think about the number that comes before 59. And I want you to write that on your paper. So the number that comes before 59 is the number 58. Now what comes after 59? 
So that would be the number 60. So 58, 59, and 60. Hope you have that on your paper as well. Okay, and the last mm -hmm. problem we have today is a mm -hmm. word problem. And um, actually, it's a word problem that contains the associative property. So if you remember, before we left for Christmas break, we started talking about adding three numbers together. And what we talked about is the easiest thing to do is to find a double or a 10 in the problem if there is one and start from there. So let's read our problem. Let's read the word problem. Max had nine cups. Sally had one cup and Bill had four cups. How many cups do they have in all? Well, I've already told you it was addition. Um, I've already told you we're gonna use the associate property. We're gonna look for a 10 or a double. So let's read it again. Max had nine cups, Sally had one cup, and Bill had four cups. How many cups do they have in all? Um, in all is our signal word, which means to add. And so we have lots of numbers that are important information today. A nine is extremely important. A one is important and a four. All of those are important numerals or digits in our story problem. So I'm gonna say nine plus one plus four. And yes, you will need um, two addition signs in this problem. Now, Earlier I said the easy, easiest way to solve would be to look for a double or a 10. So let's look here, nine plus one plus four. Do you see a double? No. Do you see a 10? Yes. Nine and one are partners of 10. There's that partner word again. Know your partners. Now we've already used the nine and the one, so we can't bring those digits down um, because we've already used them there in the 10. We composed a 10. Now the last digit is four. So you would say 10 plus four, and that will give you the total amount of cups in our story problem. And so today we have solved the problem. How many cups do they have? 10 plus four equals 14. They have 14 cups. Uh, you could also draw a number bond to represent this. There it would be 14 in the whole. Um, 10 and 4 in the parts. Um, if this was very challenging for you and you did not know how to do that, you could draw a number line and you could start at number uh, 9, then you could hop to number 1, and then you could, um, I'm sorry, hop to number 10, 9 plus 1, and then you could hop up four more spaces, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, boys and girls, that is it for our math lesson today, and I appreciate you joining in. Have a great day. Stay safe and stay well. I miss you. Goodbye. Study your math facts. Practice, 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 practice.